North American national finalist, Ryan Yu! Yo, how, how does it feel to be, in my eyes, the real champion of North America? I appreciate it, I guess. Thanks. No, is it? He is the real champion of North He's America. Always been the champion. You've been the champion in our eyes, Ryan. Bro, I want to know right now, how did it feel to take Sky Striker and do this well at National? It felt really good, uh, especially to do it with Sky Striker, because it's not very popular anymore, and I've been working on the deck, the post engage band for a while. Bro, so. you are you are the Sky Striker goat. Is there anything you want to say before we get into this deck profile? Uh, first, shout out to Team Game Nation. We're here in the store right now. I, I'm actually the owner of Game Nation now because yeah. we had I a battle. Ownership oh, today. Yeah. He transferred ownership today. He transferred ownership. the customer and the customer lost and now you own it. Yeah, I own it now. Shout out to Team Game Nation. You're not the captain, by the way. Yeah. Steven yeah. Trifonoski, that gentleman know, is I the captain. I think I'm the captain after this. Whoa! Oh, I am right the captain now. Wow. I'm, I guess I'll just take the ownership then. That's fine. <laughs> no, but yeah, definitely shout out to Game Nation, the store, uh, also the team, Steven. Abdul, Max, John, Ray, the owner, Knock for being Second on the B team. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Forever B team. Uh, one more shout out before we get started. Uh, this is What's really, up? this is a really nice mat. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't think I could have gone as far oh! as I this one. Oh my God! Where'd you find this? You found it on TripGaming.com. That's where you guys could go right now to get your Celine play mat, get your Pendulum Magician play mats, get your Eldritch play mats, get all your play mats, baby, and be a Nats finalist too. Let's go. Shrimpgaming.com. Whoa, okay. so you bought this and this from there, and everyone should go buy it right now. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. they, and they'll be also Nats finalists if they play on this playmat, correct? Yeah, beautiful mat. All right. Beautiful. Without further ado, let's get into your amazing deck profile. So, three copies of Ray, two rows. This is pretty self explanatory. Uh, it doesn't really matter that Rose isn't as good as Ray in terms of protecting your grind game, because the way the format is right now, you're, you're blinding second with this deck. So whenever you go second, you basically have the entire turn to play and set up your negates, set up your follow-up. Uh, Rose also does a lot of things that Ray can't do. So this plays around Dark, which is actually pretty relevant sometimes, especially against Dragon Link and the Punk decks. Uh, you can make Lina with it, uh, and Lina comes up for outing anti-spell. Uh, there's also just Valor, Ogre, like Shooting Riser Dragon in the format. So you can Lina and then pivot into Hulk. Uh, so yeah, this card's definitely very good. Don't play one of it. Would you play three? I don't think you'd play three because if you open too many pilots in a hand, uh, the pilots turn into dead dead cards. Sometimes you can make two with two of them because they can go Zeke and then out and interrupt. Or you can go like Dark or Lina. But uh, for the most part, this ratio is sound. Amazing. Uh, for the hand traps, three Ash, three Ogre, three Valor, two Nibiru. Uh, these are all very good. Uh, I think the maybe the most interesting one is three ogre in the main that's because this deck interacts really poorly into the brave engine uh, since the, you have draco back to bounce this at widow anchors or the other spells and traps and griffin negates your, your nibiru your other hand traps so having ogre to trade with faithful was really important it's also very good against like hulk because then they can't take the hulk on your turn uh this is especially broken into souls and right because if you don't like have ghost ogre souls right completely destroys you they draw to you they get the negate and that was really important. Genius. Uh, yeah, and two Nibiru because you, it's good, but when you go second, more so than going first, you don't need it as badly because you can break ports uh, without needing to draw this, this card. Uh, and late game, if you're drawing this card, it's a huge issue. Uh, there's the same with some other cards in the list, we'll get to, which I'll get to later, but this deck really does like take a few turns to win. So you don't want to be dead drawing cards that aren't good late game, or you also don't want to have this card against matchup for its bad. Like Despy is a really bad matchup, uh, and having the is pretty rough. So that's all the monsters for the spells. One engage, one hornet drone. Uh, is this? Are you gonna cut this, or you think it's good? Uh, I think it's good. Very, it's good. Yeah, okay. Broken. Roll. Oh yeah. Widow. Shark. Burner. This is all pretty self-explanatory, except uh, the second burner was pretty common, especially after Hartford. Uh, the problem is that right now the format is based on decks that like tag out in the main phase, like with Fiber, they scythe you in main. So that's why cards like Widowmaker are super great, because you can do it in yes. standby phase, and yes. Hawk just goes like 915. Uh, Would, have you thought of playing two of this or no? Uh, not really. Against Despia, you only need one to search in end phase with Shizuku, and then you can get it back with multi-roll. Uh, and against all the side decks, it's convenient to draw to hit their side. 
but you already have so many outs to the fiber side combo. And uh, if you're not hitting sight, this card's actually pretty mediocre because the decks right now, uh, hit, like banishing a card from their grave isn't that good of an interruption. Right. So that's the best of the spells. Two Prosperity, two Droplet, and two Offering to the Doom. Whoa! Yeah. Why Offering to the Doom? Offerings, the most important thing is that you can set it when you have Mystic Mine up. And then if they have the right token with Draco back, you can chain this to Draco back, pop the token. And then against most of the combo decks, that's their one main deck out to mine gone. Yeah. So you get to you get to actually deck it out. <laughs> uh, and that interaction was really important because especially in top cut, when people are gonna know that you're playing Sky Striker, uh, they can hold the Draco back when they do yeah. their combo, and then you're gonna lose if you can't actually protect the mine. So this was the best way we thought of making sure that this card could resolve game one. Really good uh, call right there. Yeah, also post side when they make you go first, this is just one of the cards in our deck that's super strong. Yes. Because you can like set this with Shizuku and Widow Anchor. And like this with Widow Anchor to steal is like, basically just stealing two monsters. So like, you can hit the right token, uh, which turns off the Draco back. Mm -hmm. You can hit just the Fiber, you can hit the Red Rose. Uh, there's a lot it can do. Yeah. Uh, as for these, these are like, pretty normal, I think. Two Prosperity because you can't resolve three. Uh, you don't want to be drawing Prosperity late game. So you don't want to have it conflict with Engage. Yeah. But turn one, it adds some consistency and get the spell in the grave. Yep. Uh, Droplet. Uh, it was honestly kind of a filler card. It's it's decent. It's a quick play. You have a lot of channel spells in this deck. Or mm -hmm. just even normal spells like Afterburner, Terraform, and Rota. So many that yeah. this can send. And they work well in conjunction with it. Um, yeah. Uh, nothing <coughs> really to say. Not three because... You don't want to see multiples. You like really don't want to see multiples of most of the spells in this deck. Right. And going first, this card's also pretty mid because right. you're going to be losing a card to activate yes. on their turn. Right. And then I don't think I need to explain it. Because <laughs> this is the best <laughs> card in the game. <laughs> Mystic Mind's broken. Uh, Rota Terraform. Yeah. Three Imperm. Basically just as good as Valor, if not better, because yeah. you can hit like, branded opening. Right. Uh, you can also draw it on your turn. Hit Pelican stand by right. face. Six attack card. Yeah, and then Metaverse. Uh, All right. Also pretty. pretty and simple. you, I realize you did not play Demise of the Land. Uh, what do you think about that card? Uh, Demise of the Land is pretty trash right now because the Brave cards are very, very popular. And Demise into the Brave cards is, if they're smart, they hold the Draco back, and then your Demise is never going to work. That's right. Uh, and even if they're bad, and like they activate Draco back to snipe a backer, but like if they hit Demise of the Land, you, you're losing. And if they don't hit Demise of the Land, they still have Griffin to negate it. So you need to have like at least three or four back row. They have to miss the demise and they have to be bad. And Understandable. Then, even then, if you mine them, they still have the Draco back up. So it's pretty terrible. Yeah. Uh, the extra deck. Three copies of the guy. Uh, shout out to Dylan Tricker for giving me the German one. Uh, I summoned it every time in top card and it always resolves. So that was great. Three Shizuku. Two Hayate. Kena. Seek. Like, no, like, uh, like, this is all pretty normal. The third Hayate does come up sometimes, but uh, usually the rest of the cards in the extra deck are more important. And yeah. You can win those games anyway. Right. It's inconvenient, but you can make do. Yeah. Uh, boss cards are Dark, Lina, Fiber, Selene, Access. This, these give you <laughs> these give you a way to play out of the unplayable situations. Yeah. You have like a bunch of spells in your hand that can put monsters in the field. Yeah. But you like can't set up enough interrupts, so sometimes you just have to go for game. These this is this one's obviously good. It's been good for a while. This is also super good in this deck because you play Rose, which is yeah. a life that's very easily accessible. Uh this it, like I mentioned earlier it summons the tuners. This can also summon Boxia against Hortzel. Uh so you can do some cool plays with like Summon this, and then pop a spell, revive a pilot, then go Selene, and then it gives you like the extra push with Boxy's effect to go for game. And then these are all very good. That's amazing. Actually, I think I'm the biggest lover of both Charmers, bro. Like I explained in future videos, which I'll explain to you guys. I think the Charmers are so, 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 so good. Mm -hmm, yeah. I mean, these are all, these are also both cool because it, it didn't come up in the weekend, but in testing it did. Have you ever crashed to search your... Yeah, I was your, about to say, yeah. you can crash to search Ray and Rose. Yeah, it's see? just so, that's so good. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh. Uh, for the side deck, three copies of Token Collector. Mm -hmm. uh, this was just for Sword yeah. because I think it's a pretty good matchup, but it can be rough if they make you start, or like if they go first and they draw anti-spell, it's tough. Yeah. So this is something that kind of evens the playing field. Yeah. It, it annoys them for the rest of the game. Yes. And it gives you a way to play out from yeah. like when you're down. It's an absolutely incredible god card, Bristol. 
two crows, there's a beer. Yeah. The crows are in here for Marincess and Despia, also for the mirror match, for Salad, for Albert. They cover a lot of rogue matchups, uh, and they help you side out when the... You have so many polarizing cards in your main deck. Yeah. Like, Droplet, Offering, Mine even. They're yeah. not good against every matchup. Right. So these are just generic. And uh, the beer is for post side. When they make you start, it's a lot more important to have a beer than when you're going second. Uh, because you have, like, Widow Anchor, you have Droplet, you have Offering, you have Infirm, Baylor, Ogre. You're basically always getting to do the Nibiru plus one negate for Griffin combo. Uh, and it's a lot easier to out your Nibiru when you get to search or Suzuku set up for next turn. Yeah. Of which, uh, which is why it's in the side. Uh, two Twin, two Cosmic. These are yeah, both very good. We're at two because uh, the siding patterns are what we were doing against the Punk X, for example. You can side these in. Yeah. And then we would be taking out like Mystic Mind, Metaverse, uh, potentially Afterburner, some combination of those cards. Uh, and Cosmic especially is very good because it has dual functionality in terms of hitting Sudden. So you can go first set it and hit Faithful, which yeah. is amazing. You put the spell in there, yeah. it deals with like two cards basically. But you can go se go second with it, Sight them, put a spell in there, Baker Bird. Right. And uh, Twin is for the more back or heavy decks like Marincess, they play yeah, Gozen Match, uh, Salad, Elbush, like all the decks yeah. I mentioned before. Correct. Uh, also, these are also pretty good against Sword Soul. You can trade with Blackout or, or Floodgates. Yeah. So, wouldn't change. That. And the last card's a fee barrier and two there again. Uh, did you expect people to did you side if it's game two, would you always side to go first, assuming they'll make you go first? Uh the way the sec was meant to side was you actually have the same pattern for going first and second in every matchup. Because oh. we just we didn't want to gamble and have right. to assume how much people knew about the deck or what right. they were gonna do. Yes. Uh, these are against a deck like Shortsel, for example. Obviously, going first, these are crazy. Yeah. But going second, it's also the same. Like if you yeah. can't trap them, set barrier, break their board, set barrier, game. Yeah. Or this breaks your board, their board for you. It's yeah. even better. Yeah. Uh, the only reason this is a two and it's a three was because uh, Despia, again, is pretty rough matchup. So we definitely want a three, at least for Despia. Mm -hmm. uh, and this also had some very, very important overlap against Marincess. That's actually why this was in here. Uh, Marincess is also a pretty bad matchup because they can drown you, like, get it, <laughs> and card advantage. Uh, and nice dad joke. Ray would be proud. Um, you can also put this against the Flunder. It, it just yeah. Yeah, very, very broken. State. Awesome. Bro, absolutely amazing, man. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely incredible job. Anything you want to say to end off the video? Uh, shout out to Steven for having me on. Make sure you check out the play match. They're really nice. Uh, shout out to all the Toronto guys, the dysfunctional family. Uh, yeah, this is the token. This is Nico. Shout out to Nico. Uh, yeah, they're always there and they're the best so yeah go Toronto absolutely amazing man thank you so much for being on here everyone in the comments tell Ryan congratulations because that's my guy thank you so much and uh guys we'll see you guys next video peace